This video is sponsored by Elegoo. What's up guys, it's Max here. I'm back with another review. This time it's about the Elegoo Penguin Bot 2.0. It's an Arduino based robot that can walk, avoid obstacles, follow you, and even dance, which I find to be quite a number of features for a robot as small as this. Anyway, let's take a look inside the box. Opening up the box, let's take a look at what we have. A whole stack of these head covers, the instruction manual, programming cable, the Penguin Bot's motherboard, an ultrasonic sensor, a four pack of servo motors, a 7.4 volt lithium battery, Phillips screwdriver, and a connecting set of wires, the Penguin Bot's sticky foot pads, a couple of bags of screws, nuts, and bolts. And the last thing is a box that contains all of the outer parts of the Penguin robot. So it turns out I got the black version of the Penguin robot. There we go, so that's all that was inside the box. After taking a quick look at the instruction manual that came with the Penguin Bot, I began to assemble it. First I'm going to assemble the legs by mounting each servo motor onto each foot piece like so. Then I'm going to mount a fork piece onto each foot making the upper parts of the legs. Next is to mount the motherboard with the Elegoo Nano V4 microcontroller onto the base of the Penguin Bot with the other two servo motors. I also made sure everything's bolted together, including the two little brass beams which will be holding the battery. Now I'll attach the base of the robot to its legs, also making sure that the servo wires go up through the holes on each side of the base. I then connected all servo wires to the correct ports. Next step is to attach on the sides with those little speakers. I connected both speaker wires into the motherboard with an ultrasonic sensor connector. Next I'll assemble the face of the robot including the ultrasonic sensor itself and attach it onto the front of the robot. Then I connect the ultrasonic sensor to the motherboard. I tighten the battery onto those brass beams and connect its wires to the motherboard. After that, I'll attach the back panel in place like so. And then I stick on its rubbery foot pads. I didn't screw the legs onto the base straight away since I knew I had to calibrate them first. So I turned the robot on. All servo motors should turn to their default positions. And what you want to do when calibrating is to adjust the fork pieces without turning the servo motor. Once your robot's feet are positioned at a 90 degree angle, you can then screw the legs back onto the robot. And if your penguin bot keeps falling even after manual calibration, then you can adjust the angle of inclination of each foot through Elegoo's app, which I'll get to in a moment. Not only can you trim the foot servos, but you can also trim the base servos too. By the way, the robot already comes pre-programmed so you don't have to worry about the coding part. So the Penguin Bot also comes with a stack of these head covers which you can fold up and put on your Penguin Bot. Let's take a closer look at them. So it comes with six different head covers. You have a blank one and then you have several other types. My favorite one over here is the one that looks more like a robot. There we go. Looks pretty cool this head cover on. I like the look. Like I said, it also comes with a blank one that you can customize in whatever way you want and put it on the robot, which I think is also a pretty cool option. You can download the Elegoo BLE tool app from the App Store or Play Store. Once you open the app, select which one of Elegoo's products you want to use. Of course, going with the Penguin Box. Start up your robot and while it's doing its little initiation dance, you can turn on Bluetooth and pair your phone up to the robot by holding your phone in front of it. On the right side of the screen, you'll see a control box. The top left hand button makes it dance and play music at the same time. Music 
This function makes it follow you or any other object that you put in front of its sensors. You can see it only starts moving when I put my hand in front of the sensor. and this mode enables it to avoid obstacles. Taking a closer look at the back of the robot, you'll see there's a micro SD card port which holds a 256 MB SD card that came with it. Elegoo has already left three songs on it. With the included micro USB cable, you can program the robot or charge it. When fully charged, it indicates green. If you want to program the robot, then be sure to switch this little switch to upload mode. And when you want to use the robot, then switch it back to Bluetooth. To purchase this penguin bot, check out the link in the description below. So, you guys got to see all the cool functionalities this penguin bot has to offer. And for the limited amount of moving parts that it does have, it actually moves pretty well. And I like the way it dances too. A big thanks to Elegoo for sending me this robot kit over. If you guys enjoyed this video, like always, hit that thumbs up, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on Instagram at max.imagination. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you next week. Peace!